<laughs> oh. oh, I'm so excited. Can you tell? Can you feel it? Can you feel my heart palpitating through the airwaves? Listen, it was it was maybe uh, 10 years ago. Wow, you know what it was? It was 10 years ago. I was flipping through the TV dial, and I happened upon, I guess it was Monday Night Raw, and it was a women's division match, the Divas, and I was sitting there going, eh, you know, what are they going to do? They're just there to look cute. Oh, was I wrong. After five minutes, I was hooked. These these women were really, really doing some hardcore uh, fighting, and it was just incredible watching this next guest making her second appearance on the show, just watching her develop over the years and go on to do so many uh, great things. And she's one of the nicest people in the world on top of it. So making her return to that modern rock show, seven-time WWE Women's Champion, Yoga Master. Can I call you a master? I think that's acceptable. Yeah, Yoga Master and now bona fide movie star, Trish Stratus. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. You know, the last time we talked, which was maybe about... A year and a half ago, two years ago, something like that, Mm -hmm. you were telling me about uh, all of these things you were doing, and you were saying, and it's available in Canada, and this is coming out in Canada, and this is Canada. Everything was Canada. So I'm in New York City. I'm on 23rd Street and 6th Avenue. I go into Best Buy, and lo and behold, I see a DVD cover, and there you are. And I'm thinking, it's that movie. That movie that Trish Stratus was telling us about, and and the movie is out, and uh, I bought the movie. I own it, uh-huh. and I've watched it. What did you think? Well, uh, first, first, because I'm going to keep you in suspense. Okay. Um, for the benefit of our listeners who haven't seen the movie, how would you describe uh, your character, Jules Taylor? Well, you caught uh, the cover of Bounty Hunters, and you saw a blonde Trish Stratus. That's right. So I would say that Jules Taylor is, um, a, you know, you thought, oh, there's, that's Trish Stratus. And Jules Taylor is pretty much Trish Stratus. <laughs> right. Sort of an amped up version, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I'm definitely, you know, packing a Glock 40 and, um, you know, being a bounty hunter and uh, working with criminals rather than just wrestlers nowadays. But, um, yeah, she's, um, you know, the interesting thing is, you know, the, the director will tell you to this day, he says, I wrote this storyline. I needed a strong female lead, so I picked Trish Stratus to write with and, you know, put her in my mind. I never thought I'd actually get you to play it. Um, and so when I read the script for the first time, she certainly jumped off the page. Um, and, yeah, she's very much Trish Stratus. She's a butt-kicking female who, uh, you know, no one stands in her way, and she get, gets what she wants. And, um, of course, the main thing that you may recognize is she's, um, or the action scenes are um, quite feisty. Well, <laughs> you, you, asked, you asked for my opinion. I love the movie, and the highlights for me, well, there are two highlights. The first highlight, the fight scenes, of course, of course. And there's, there's a big one at the end, but I have to tell you, my favorite of the fight scenes, there's like four that you're involved in, like mm-hmm. four big ones. My favorite is the ambulance one because it's like close quarters. Yeah. And you had to learn a, a new uh, fighting style or a different fighting style. Yeah. Um, I think that's one of the things that really was appealing to me to take on the project was, you know, the director said, well, what do you think about, you know, the character I created, Jules Taylor? She um, is, you know, I wanted to give everyone a specific fight style. So, you know, he understood that when that comes together, when two different people from different fight fight backgrounds came together, we, we could create something interesting. So um, I was trained in Krav Maga, which is um, close quarters, you know, combat is a big aspect of it. It's an Israeli special ops fighting. So I was excited to just learn a new fighting art. And, um, you know, before we even filmed, I made a point of, I actually came in to the, into a producing role because I wanted to maintain the integrity of the fight scenes. And mm-hmm. really, that's where was kind of my baby. You know, I thought, oh, good, I'll have the opportunity to showcase, I guess, the movie world, showcase what we do in the wrestling world, right? So... Um, I met. I, I made a point of getting together with my co-star, the my nemesis in the film, Ruby. Yes, who's Andrew, wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah, Andrew James Louis. She's a fantastic. She's a you know stage. She has a stage combat background, but she's also a martial artist. And so when we got together, I did recognize that my scene, my my fight. I was going to say scenes, but my fight matches that you saw in WWE. The reason they came off is because when, when something's really good, it's because the two characters have chemistry. Mm-hmm. And so I wanted to develop that with her, and I think we really did a great job of you know, understanding each other's styles and movements and um, meshed really well together. And the cool thing is, is I think we approached it not as stunt people, but as, as, um, as fighters. You know? And I think that's why it gives it a little extra something-something that you maybe you don't see in other fight scenarios. And I will say this, 
there's some satisfaction going on. Let's <laughs> let's be honest. I mean, there there is. Yep. You know, for those people out there who who want it, who want to see that. But I have to say, now the other part of the <laughs> the other, another big highlight for the movie, you've got a little scene stealer in your co-star Boomer Phillips because this guy is so funny <laughs> in this movie, uh, especially the scene at, at uh, the brothel, the two of you together. And by the way, me saying the scene at the brothel, thats I'm already selling DVDs for you right now. Yeah, exactly. By, <laughs> by saying this. But uh, it, it, it looked like, because I, I watched the gag reel at the end of the movies, it looked like you guys were improvising a lot. Yeah, you know, that's another thing. Much like Patrick, the director, gave Andrea and I the sort of creative freedom to do what we want to do with the fight scenes, he did the same thing with the actors to kind of have their have their own freedom with the with the script. So... Boomer Phillips is, is such a funny guy. He everything he says is like comedy gold, and he's a comedian here in Canada. And um, you know, so when he it was just like you, he would just go on and he'd riff, and it was just so funny to watch. And so, you know, he let him do that, and and that's some of the stuff that ends up staying in the film. At times, he just said, "Oh, let's just let's just roll with this. Maybe it'll be a DVD extra." Um, it, it was so good that and so funny that it really it turned the whole dynamic of the movie around. I mean, Patrick said when he was cutting the film at the end, he he could have just stuck with what it was on you know written on the script, which is a straight up action flick, or he could sort of include these other things. And when Boomer Phillips and I kind of got together, we'd get a little you know silly and we'd rant, and 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 he just decided to change the tone a little bit and um and and keep it in there, so it turned into an action comedy. And I think that's what makes it really a fun ride. I mean, we're not taking ourselves too serious; we're having fun, and I think we had a great time filming it and i think that's why the audience walks away having a great time as well well yeah and i would say for the audience you know you mentioned fun and certainly you're you're fighting in in one of the scenes in like the big one really at the end and what appears to be some sort of <laughs> school school uniform of some kind you're selling those dvds again you're selling those listen people there's a scene at a brothel <laughs> yeah it's not what you think though but no, uh, it's not what you think at all and this is a funny thing when i read the script too initially there's a scene where it says jules taylor in costume and of course i read it and i'm wearing a schoolgirl outfit and i read about the epic fight scene with my my co-star and she's in a nurse's uniform I'm going to say this right now. Yes, that's appealing on paper. For me, <laughs> almost a turn off on paper. Then I said, wait a sec, let me just read into this more. There is a very good reason we are in these costumes. Yes. So there you go. <laughs> but, uh, well, that, that sure. Listen, people, I, I, I wouldn't lie to you. I, I put the movie on. And, you know, the reason, the reason that I bought it, of course, I'm, I'm a fan of yours from, from going way back. And, I mean, you retired from uh, the WWE, what, like, like six years ago or something like that? Yeah, I can't believe it's been so long already. But, yeah, 2006 right. was the official retirement. But you've come back and done stuff, so it's not like uh, you're completely out of the picture with them. Right. You know, and, in fact, uh, you did uh, a Tough Enough, that reality show, mm -hmm. and uh, talking about a, a funny guy. One of the funniest guys in the world, because I've seen some behind-the-scenes stuff, is uh, Steve Austin. Oh, my gosh. He's great. He's, so, yeah, he's like he the wittiest so, guy. He's hilarious, and I think people don't even know that side of him. And, you know, it's the same thing I find. I love people like that where um, it's a famous scene that in, my, in 2003, WWE did a uh, home video for me. It was 100% satisfaction guaranteed. And some of the DVD extras, there's a moment where Steve and I encounter each other backstage that the cameras were just following. And we started to riff, and it just goes on. And it's such a funny scene. That's pretty much what happened with me and Boomer. So it's one of those things where, you know, you just have that chemistry with someone, and he's just a natural, funny guy. And, um, and me, personally, I just, you know, that's kind of part of my personality. So it's, it's neat when you get the opportunity. You're, just kind of be there. You're a comedy magnet, Trish. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I you attract you, the funnies. You attract the funnies, and you bring the funnies out of people, and you're funny yourself in the movie. You've got some good zingers in there. You know, I I'm gonna, I can open the door. I've got a key. But, you know, all that stuff. You know, it's, yeah. it's a lot of fun. It's it's a fun movie. And again, you know, here's what I want now, because now I'm going to make demands on you. <laughs> okay. I want a movie every year. Is that too much to ask? Can we get a movie every year? You know that could be some that could be doable. I think you know I um it's funny because when we, we we you were mentioning the product line, my I um I set out and I made this this Stratus for Yoga DVD, which we talked about, um developed the line and it's out in Canada and it's actually available worldwide now. Just so you know, so you can no longer run away from my yoga, sir. <laughs> <laughs> but I produced the one DVD and then now I realize like that was a great process and I enjoyed doing that and now. I'm going to get ready to do my second DVD for my, like a fitness DVD. So I think, you know, that could be a little, that could be how we do it. You know, Steve Austin, he basically said, you know, when we did Tough Enough, he said, you know, I had just come off the heels of, you know, filming the first movie. And he said, you know, this could be a good, 
a good little business. You know, he said basically he ha- he does that everything. He makes one or two a year now, and they go straight to DVD. But he has, he knows exactly who he's filming for. He knows his audience, and he's exploring new scripts and working with interesting people and different directors. And um, yeah, you know, I had I I got a good taste of of of, um, of acting, and I enjoyed the process itself. And who knows? Like I said, if it's the right project. And uh, that's, I mean, that's my go-to line. It's, if it's something that obviously tickles my fans right. and, you know, going to challenge me, yeah, I'd certainly entertain it. But this was right up my alley to do a, uh, the action flick as my first movie was definitely uh, a great, you know, first start. Well, I would say uh, the next one, you should be fighting zombies. Fighting zombies? Yep. Can they be funny zombies, though? Uh, they're funny zombies, and, and at the end of the movie, you have to fight the queen of the zombies, and that turns out to be Lita. I Done. Like I've written it. It's hey, there. It is right there. That's the next movie. Well, here's the thing, Lita and I. You speak of Lita. We've actually been talking about doing a project for a couple years now. And now that I've done the movie and also produced my own, you know, fitness videos, I know sort of you know the, the behind the scenes and what it takes to put up, pull off a project like this. So we're we've actually just recently started talking about it again. It's it goes back to the 1960s. There was these. You know the Sant- Santo films, which right, are the Luchador movies. Exactly. Yeah. So we're thinking about, um, you know, possibly bringing back Doctor Doom versus the Wrestling Woman. <laughs> there, there you right? go. Now that title sells itself. Exactly. Right. <laughs> uh, we just sold DVDs, and they're not even made yet. So, right. Uh, once we do that, I'm going to keep you in the loop on that one because um, I think you'd be a fan of that. Just to see, you know, Lita and I mix it up on the on the big screen would be kind of cool. I think. I'm a fan of it all. I'm going to even go for the yoga. I'm going to get those heavy gloves or whatever that you're selling there. You know, I'm not an educated guy when it comes to this stuff. Well, I shall teach you. I will be your guru. <laughs> <laughs> My yoga guru. I'm going to have to let you go because I'm looking at the time here. But uh, again, this is a, a great movie. You're going to listen. If you miss seeing Trish Stratus beat the crap out of people, this is the movie for you. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. There's a lot I of good jokes. I have them available on my website as well. Oh, so, yes, um, yes. If anyone can, you know, you can go to your local Best Buy or TrishStratus.com. TrishStratus.com. Thanks so much, Trish. Thank you so much. All right. Bye bye. Bye.